What's up guys, I am at the last park of my entire trip, which is going to be actually the first video going up for the trip, ironically. But for our grand finale, we got this beautiful creation right here. It just stormed a few minutes ago, so it's not operating yet. I'm going to wait here for a little bit and wait for them to cycle it and get it open back up. Then I'm going to get plenty of rides on this beautiful creation. So there's Air Force One over there. Let's go on it. Hopefully. You know, this storm is really holding me back. What the truck? I guess I'm going to have to take up arms with this weather. I think I'll never understand about this part. It's like a carnival over here. At least it kind of has carnival vibes to it. And then you have that. Like, how does this have that? I'll never understand, but I won't complain. Just open, please. Now you guys know that I normally have a pretty strong will for puns, but I don't know, today I just seem like I've lost mine. Stop it. Get some help. All right, a maintenance dude just said that they got the all clear. They're turning it back on now. So let's get Air Force one -ed. I don't know what that means, but that's going to happen. Holy f This ride is ridiculous. <laughs> I'm so glad that I chose this ride as the last ride of the entire trip. No better way to end this entire trip. My god, the airtime in this thing is so f strong. Wildcat's Revenge has variety of elements, but the airtime in this thing is utterly insane. Especially the end, the quad down finale, my legs hurt after seven rides on it. If you don't like the typical RMC bunny hops, you might not like the finale. I don't mind them, I think it's a lot of fun. And the Zero-G stall, that's the best stall I've ever been on. That's, the hang time is immaculate on that. I still don't understand how this park has this ride. I'm gonna do it some more. Excuse you, Area Force One. I just got 16 rides on Area Force One today. I can safely say this is my number two RMC overall. It's not, still not quite as good as Iron Gwazi. I feel like Iron Gwazi's height and speed just kind of gives it the edge. But the airtime in this thing, my God, I've never felt so much sustained ejector throughout an entire layout on a coaster ever. This ride is absolutely fantastic. Easily a top 10 coaster. I'm not sure where in my top 10, but it's somewhere up there. I feel like I've seen more coaster enthusiasts here than I have general public, and that's awesome just to see so many enthusiasts coming to this park just for this beautiful creation here. I would stay longer, the park's open till 10, it's only like 7.30 right now, but I got an 11 hour drive home, and I need to get started on that sooner rather than later. It's been a long two weeks. As I said earlier, this is the first video I'm posting of this trip, even though it's the last day of the trip. I just wanted to get this video up first before I enter the rest of them. So that's why this is up first. If you're ever in the Atlanta area, this is a must-do ride. 100%. Ride for post, ride count, right there. Alright guys, I've read the video up here. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll catch you guys in the next loop. See ya!